Hello everyone. Today we are here to learn about the insects. Insects, yani kid. Choti choti kid. Jo aas pas mein hum bahut jada quantity mein dekhte hain. You know, insects are the largest group of organisms, specifically of arthropods. हम बोलते हैं कि जो फाइलम आर्थोफोड होता है उसमें इंसेक्ट्स जो है सबसे लार्जेस्ट ग्रुप है जो इस प्लैनेट में सबसे ज्यादा उसकी पॉपुलेशन क्योंकि वेन एवर यू सी अराउंड आपको हर जगह इंसेक्ट्स दिख रहे हैं है ना आपको बटरफ्लाई दिख रहे हैं आप आप घर के अंदर हो तो आपको हाउस हाउस फ्लाई दिख रही है आपको मॉस्किटो दिख रहे हैं आप बाहर जा रहे हो तो यू आर सींग बटरफ्लाई हानी बीज ड्रैगन फ्लाई मॉस्किटोज so small small uh, worms army worms hote hain so what are the we call as insects ab insects ko aapko kaise pehchante we identify insects by the pair of their legs they have total six legs means three pairs okay ye ek characteristics hai jaise agar aapko koi bole ki what is a spider is spider insect no it is an arachnida it's not an arthropoda that is why इट्स इंसेक्ट्स आर देखना कभी स्पाइडर के लेग्स को काउंट करना दे आर एट लेग्स ओके सो वी से दैट इट इज नॉट एन इंसेक्ट इट इज अ स्पाइडर उसका नाम से स्पाइडर इंसेक्ट की उसमें कैटेगरी में नहीं आता द वन विच इज कमिंग अंडर द इंसेक्ट कैटेगरी विल हैव सिक्स लेग्स ओके और थ्री पेयर्स ऑफ लेग्स एज वेल एज सम ऑफ देम कैन फ्लाई एंड सम कैन ओनली वॉक Uh, you can see very well cockroaches around in your kitchen, ants, bees, butterflies, okay, dragonflies, or five names. Up, uh, you just find out yourself which insects you see, and discuss with your uh, sister, brother, or parents. Okay. Now we come to the body parts of the insect. Whenever you see the insects, we usually find that the main body part of the insect is. Three main body part. First is the head rib. Okay. Then other is the thorax, the middle region, and the last is the abdomen region or the tail region. So the abdomen, the stomach region also comes there, and the back tail region, the sting view, the push view, of course. Then the mouth is usually usually it is a triangular in shape, little more of triangular in shape. and it might be you know according to the uh, what we say um, uh, this uh, according to the way they eat in the environment they have different type of mouth parts okay like up uh, you would have seen butterflies what the butterfly does the butterfly usually sucks the what the uh, nectar from the flower so uh, they uh, mouth part will be something like a sucking one same as mosquito because it is uh, sucking the blood so it is needle type okay uh, the house fly sits on the uh, different uh, food material and they have a sponging type of mouth parts so uh, we have different type of mouth parts according to their uh, what we say feeding um, uh, mechanism of the insect so the basic uh, what we say the basic we'll see that what are the different parts of the uh, this uh, insect the three main parts head thorax and the abdomen region okay and this thorax region the middle region this usually consists of the pair of wings some might have to a uh, single pair of uh, uh, this wings some have one full one half like in house flies so different pairs and as well as this region also consists of the leg region now whenever the legs move out it does not comes out from the abdomen region it is the abdo the thoracic region where the this uh, head uh, this uh, legs and the wings arise so if someone is saying to you to define the different parts in simple way we can say that head is a triangular flattened bent downwards attached to the neck we all know head is movable insect ka it moves here and there it they have large eyes they have a pair of antennas is also there antenna is the detective region means 
it detects the food like in cockroaches rat ko whenever they come out at night they detect the what the food material okay it is sensory in nature altogether <coughs> then is the middle part that is known as the thorax region okay so at the middle part of the insect body it consists of three pairs of legs two pair of wings simple is that then abdominal region abdominal region is after the thorax region and sabse basic is the uh, function kya hai it consists of the spiracles these are holes okay breathing holes breathing holes hum bolte hain so these are called as spiracles you know different insects these are called as spiracles spiracles okay this is the abdomen region this is the middle uh, is the thorax and this is the head region okay now very well understood head thorax abdomen head is triangular consists of eye mouth region then thorax region is the middle region consisting of the pair of legs as well as the wings abdomen consists of the uh, third part of the body and is the largest part of the insect's body and consists of the breathing holes which is known as spiracles and this is very important okay always remember it might come in, in your short fill ups or one word spiracles the holes present on the abdomen which helps in breathing or what uh, to which do the insect breathe that is the spiracles like we you know all know human beings breathe through batana zara if you can comment it then just comment it okay then coming to the next one is the how do the life cycle of butterfly means butterfly in agar hum usually insects ko kutte hain how do the insect go through the life cycle throughout the life cycle you would have always seen that during the rainy season especially the insect begins the uh, this their cycle with the laying the eggs it might be under the leaves it might be you know you have the uh, in your houses outside surroundings or aapke garden mein the crevices between the stones you might find some of the pupas lying here in the crevices so the life cycle of the insect begin with the eggs which hatches and turn into or changes into larva now larvae then goes through it will eat it will mold mold means humne ye cheez in the, we have read in the next uh, sorry this uh, last chapter also molting means the changing in the shape or the changing in the skin it might be change in their uh, formation also so that is called as the molting molting with the new skin formation ho rahi usko new development ho raha hai to due to the new development there might be changes in that particular एनिमल लाइक इस तरह से कोई आज कम होगा तो उसके अंदर विंग्स आना शुरू हो जाएंगे सो ग्रोथ अंटिल इट विल बिकम देन अडल्ट द बेसिक थ्री स्टेप्स एग लार्वा अडल्ट दिस इज द थ्री बेसिक पार्ट इन द लाइफ साइकिल नाउ इफ यू स्टडी द लाइफ साइकिल ऑफ अ बटरफ्लाई अ बटरफ्लाई वी नो इट हैज अ ब्यूटिफुल विंग्स यस so here little more one changes there means the one step which changes over here is this one see eggs on the leaves or any part of it might be on the uh, this flower or uh, uh, on the crevices then it changes into the caterpillar you know caterpillar bahut zyada grabbing hota hai means it eats a lot so it till it eats and it is full fill uh, matlab fully grown okay uh it will just eat full on the leaves of the plant itself it is if you can see near about your garden also then it changes into see they make the structure which is called as cocoon a cocoon kya hota hai you should know this now what is a cocoon whenever the caterpillar changes into a pupa okay when it changes into a pupa it is covered by the covering which is made by its mucus okay mucus ke andar it is uh, get uh, you know what we say like a cage inside it and uh, the animal will live inside it till it gets the 
fully grown uh, it, it gets fully grown or it get a proper environment so that is it does after some times or after a certain time period like it is uh, two weeks for the butterfly in different insects it is different so in the butterfly it takes two weeks and emerges from the pupa to form the butterfly okay which where they have wings they strip in their cell they dry and then they fly away so basic thing over here what to remember first is the pupa is called as cry cells cry cells this thing to remember what is the pupa of butterfly called okay maximally in the insect it is called as the chrysalis then what is the uh, like uh, the larvae of the butterfly called it is called as caterpillar okay and what is the structure made by the animal to protect themselves from environment that is the cocoon wo usko protect karega till the time that particular animal is immature animal is inside that particular cocoon okay so three basic things to remember here what the butterfly is of four stages uh, life cycle is in four stages chrysalis is the name of the pupa and it is inside the cocoon which protect itself okay pupa or the chrysalis okay now again one more hamara ek aur cheez aa gaya i have one one thing you have uh, learned before is molting means changing of the skin by the or the changing of the old skin by the new one is called as molting similarly when there is a transformation of the change of the caterpillar to a butterfly formation ho raha hai different from the caterpillar to butterfly this process is called as metamorphosis meta means changing into different structure morphosis changes ho raha hai okay so this is also one important thing to be learn metamorphosis this is the transformation of the change from the caterpillar to butterfly is called as the metamorphosis ab hum insect mein aur variety dekhte they are very much insects which are in their family or we can say they are social animals we all know human being is a social animal kyu hai social animal then socho it is a social animal because it lives in a family where the family is having different Uh, members one is father mother grandfather grandparents okay so what is there different work is done by the different section of the members same here some of the insects they also have the division of labor in between it means sabko apna apna kaam diya gaya hai so they are known as the social insects ab uh, have you ever seen a kind of a social insect or third If yes, then uh, uh, just uh, think in your mind or just you can comment it. The basic, the common one, you have seen that is the termites, as well as you have seen bees, okay, wasps. ये बड़े common नहीं है. Ants you would have seen if uh, you are able to identify them. Ants के बारे में you have to read. See, very interesting it is. Now what is there in the ant? Division of labor की बात करते हैं. When we say that it is a social animal, it means that there is a division of labor between them okay like see like other social insect ants also live in groups and colonies now if living in a colony ek rani hoti hai isme okay one of the rani is there which is rani ka kaam kya hota hai khana aur baithna okay so ant ke case mein this queen is sitting and it is a female uh, one which is sitting and laying eggs iska kaam hai to lay X means संचार starting of the colony is by the queen laying X. Then the other is the female worker. Then is the male. Okay. Now what is the work of a queen? This is a very simple question. If it can come, then describe any of one of the social insects. So you can uh, very well uh, define ant as a social insect that their family is divided into, or the division of labor is divided into the queen ant. the worker the female worker and the male now the queen ant are the founders of the colony see and they what is their work they lay eggs and have wings male ants also have wings and called as drones similar in bees also the male are called as drones they do not do any work they do not do any work see what are the fact that ant can lift 20 times of a body weight And in an ant colony, there are some soldier ants also. 
Now what they do? Was soldier नाम से clear है that they protect the queen and defend the colony. तीसरा भी देखते हैं then we discuss in short. Workers are the most common act found in any colony. किसी में भी हो it might be bees, it might be wars. Uh, wars. They do lot of work, lot of job. Like taking care of bees, gathering wala food, rose ne karna hai, building ant hills, mouse. Okay, so this was about the ant. Agar na similarly, I just make you a review of this, a revision of this. Ant consists of the queen. So now, what is the function of queen? They have wings and lays eggs. Okay, then other is the the male is the drone. Which do not do, do not work at all. Then other is the worker. The worker is the one which does everything. Which do lot of work. Okay, so queen, the male that is called as the drone, and the Worker, it does lot of. So in my until here, then next coming to the bees as such means. Bees are similar in which which be they might be different the name of the uh, what we say the female wala worker, but near about ये तो similar ही होता है queen male है worker. Just read it. Honeybees are the flying insects that they've been called. So what do the honeybees do? They uh, collect the nectar from the flowers and they make the what hive. Or the honey, from which we get the honey. They build the bee hives, that is made up of wax. The hive hang from the branches of the trees or the roofs, and honey bee feed on the nectar of flowers. ये बड़ा important. What they do? They feed on the nectar of flowers. So they are useful. Why are they useful? We we know that it produces honey and wax. They consist of the single queen, few hundred drones. They go. What is important to know here that The hundred drones are the males. Okay, what are they? They are the males. The queen is the female one, and the worker bees are the female workers. ये चीज़ है थोड़ा important, and it is the only queen which lay eggs. Okay, so like other social insects, the queen bee lays numerous eggs from which the larvae hatch. Worker bees do almost all the job for the beehive. And so it's clear till here that what to do and how the family of the social insect is divided. Now see, you have the stick insect. Stick uh, from the name itself, it is like it is like a stick. See here from the photograph also I have uh, uh, given you this. You are showing you different uh, uh, this insects here. Useful. Some are useful also. Some are harmful. This is stick insect. This is stick insect. These are the hoppers. This is beetles. This one, this is the beetles. Okay, these are the caterpillar or the scolopendras, millipedes. Okay, and some of the insects may. You will see that some are harmful for us and some are useful for us. Now, if they are harmful for any of the human kind, they are called as pest, you know, or they are harming us. So we give them the name that is the pest, and for Killing them, we use the insecticides. So very important here. Human insects can be uh, killed by insecticides. Now this is uh, one of the question can arise from here that how to prevent uh, yourself from the harmful insects. Uh, what do you do at home? We keep uh, the things clean, especially at night near our kitchen. Then close our uh, this drains and garbage bins. Then we also, you know, for the mosquitoes, what we use, we use the different uh, repellent creams. We use the uh, uh, what we say sprayers for this. Then garden for not touching flowers. You know, some of the flowers can also be grown like marigold. I just know one of the name that is the marigold one, which you uh, will put it. This is a very natural repellent. Okay, we don't need uh, need to use some kind of a insecticide there. This can be very much repellent from the insecticides. Then you can grow, uh, use the neem oil as well as grow the neem uh, tree also here near by, which is actually a natural uh, repellent. Okay, we use wire nets on the doors from uh, avoiding the insect to enter the 
house. Now, some of the diseases which are caused by the insects, mosquitoes are very well, that is the yellow fever, dengue, chikungunya, malaria. These are the basic diseases which are caused by the mosquitoes. This need to be learned. Termites, termite is the wood borer type insect or the which destroys our wooden furniture. Okay, lies that sucks the blood. It might be on the animals. It might be sometimes on the uh, this human uh, beings also uh, on the hairs in the hairs region in the hairy region, hairy part of the region. Then cockroach, dirty insect that pollute the surroundings. It is usually near about uh, the food material at night. House fly. Now what is our carry germs from one place to another? That is why it is seen that you have to cover your food whenever. Uh, where you are at home and many houseflies are there because they are the one which will, what, wherever they will sit, they have a spongy type of mouth part. So what happens with them moving to here and there, they will take that the germs also, bacteria also with them and they will sit again on the different food. Bed bugs suck blood and cause irritation. Bed, some of the micro, uh, microscopic bugs are also there near the uh, this uh, uh, beds ka, um, this mattresses ke under, we should clean them. The dusting should be done regularly to avoid this particular bed bugs. So this is what about the insects we read today. And I hope you understood. And basic thing, just go through the main part of the insects. Metamorphosis. Life cycle. The names of different insects and the diseases which are caused by the insects. Thank you.